My name is Brandon Trubuco, and I'm presenting Conservative Objective Models for Offline Model-Based Optimization. This project is a collaboration with Avaral Kumar, Xinyoung Gang, and Sergey Levin at UC Berkeley, affiliated with the Berkeley Artificial Intelligence Research Lab. The goal of model-based optimization is to find a solution to a maximization problem over a black box function f, which specifies the score of a design variable x. The design x can range from discrete designs like amino acids in proteins to continuous ones like the morphology of a robot and even the weights of a neural network. Model-based optimization provides us with the ability to find highly performant designs in a lot of scenarios where analytically optimizing functions is completely intractable and prohibitive. For example, model-based optimization can dramatically improve natural science problems such as discovering proteins and drugs with targeted biochemical properties and can enable significant technological advances by discovering novel materials and designing robots with desirable functions. While model-based optimization is a general and important paradigm, model-based optimization algorithms often learn via trial and error. They require actively querying the black box function on solutions proposed by the learning procedure iteratively. This is extremely expensive in a number of domains and may require performing physical experiments in a lab or actually building numerous robot systems. To avoid this, we explore a modification of the problem where the goal is to solve the optimization problem, assuming access to a provided offline data set of designs and their corresponding objective values. No new function calls are allowed, and the model should learn to optimize the unknown function solely using information in the finite offline data set. This circumvents the need for any active interaction and is the only viable solution for a number of optimization problems. Why is offline model-based optimization hard? A simple strategy to devise offline model-based optimization algorithms is to simply learn a predictive model of the ground truth function using supervised learning and then use these models for optimization. Is this strategy valid? It turns out that even if we can train accurate predictive models, optimizing them is really hard to obtain high quality designs. Suppose we train a powerful predictive model using modern deep learning techniques that is able to make accurate predictions on training and validation sets. If we were to directly optimize the predictions of such a model, the optimizer can get fooled by erroneously high predictions from the model. When this happens, the quality of solutions found by the optimizer degenerates, like this adversarial example generated from a picture of a bear, which is out of distribution. These adversarial examples are found especially easily when optimizing designs using standard gradient ascent to maximize the predictions of a learned model. When evaluating on these out of distribution adversarial inputs, even accurate models can be fooled into predicting high objective values that continuously improve as additional optimization steps are taken. In reality, the true objective value diverges from the predicted objective value and can degenerate to values even lower than where the optimization process started. On optimized inputs, there is a discrepancy between even an accurate predictive model and the real objective. Adversarial examples like this pose a significant challenge to offline model-based optimization and mitigating them is an important research question in order to build more reliable optimization methods, which we explore in this work. What can we do to prevent the optimizer from being driven towards unseen inputs? An approach which has been studied in literature is utilizing deep generative models to estimate a manifold of valid designs that are not adversarial, and then optimizing a learned model of the true objective function using this learned data manifold. However, while these methods can successfully avoid sampling adversarial examples by explicitly modeling the manifold of valid data, they often require model-specific and domain-specific tuning to avoid problems like mode collapse. And moreover, unlike pure generative modeling, optimization would naturally require modeling the tail ends of the data distribution, which can be especially challenging to estimate, even to a reasonable degree of accuracy. Thus, in this work, 
we investigate if we can eliminate adversarial examples without the complexity of tuning and learning a generative model. By utilizing only a single predictive model trained with supervised learning, while utilizing simple optimization schemes such as gradient descent on the predictions of the learned function. In order to devise a method, let's ask what we can do to avoid these adversarial examples in supervised learning. In supervised learning, we would generate adversarial examples that fool the classifier and train the learner to not get fooled by these samples. Similarly, in model-based optimization, we can explicitly mine for examples where the function value is erroneously high and explicitly train the model to not overestimate their value. Using this idea, when a data set is missing points in regions of the design space, where a naive model may overestimate the value of points in this region, our method pushes down a model's predictions in these regions. And this corresponds to supervised regression using an offline model-based optimization data set while jointly pushing up the objective values for designs that are in the data set and pushing down the objective values of negatives, including adversarial examples. Formally, while a traditional predictive model is trained using supervised regression, comms are trained using an augmented regression objective where a penalty term is added, weighted by a coefficient alpha that controls how much the model underestimates the objective. This term penalizes adversarial solutions to the optimization problem found by starting from a design X from the data set and performing key steps of gradient ascent to maximize the predictions of the model. Evaluating comms is then as simple as taking key steps of simple standard gradient ascent on the model's predictions to find a design X that solves the optimization problem. We evaluate conservative objective models using seven tasks derived from real-world design problems. We evaluate comms against methods that utilize generative models, as well as standard offline model-based optimization techniques. We chose the first set of four tasks for evaluation to test the ability of conservative objective models to solve high-dimensional optimization problems with continuous design spaces. For example, the goal of the task DKitty morphology is to design the morphological structure of the DKitty robot, represented by the lengths, positions, and orientations of all four of the robot's limbs. In addition, the goal of the hopper controller task is to design the weights of a neural network controller for the hopper Majoko agent. We find that conservative objective models are consistently able to find designs that are more performant than the best designs observed by the MBO algorithms during training. Comms performs up to 30% better in high dimensional settings like the hopper controller task with a design space of 5,126 individual components to optimize. And comms dominate the benchmark on continuous tasks, reaching optimal performance on three of the four tasks. Given the competitive performance of comms on continuous optimization problems, how effective are comms at solving MBO tasks with discrete designs? To answer this question, we benchmarked comms on three distinct discrete MBO tasks derived from real world design problems in biology, including a protein optimization task derived from the green fluorescent protein and DNA sequence optimization. And we find that comms obtain competitive solutions for all discrete tasks that we tested, and comms are 16% better on average than the next best method we tested across the entire benchmark. In conclusion, we propose conservative objective models for offline model-based optimization, which mitigate finding adversarial examples during the optimization of designs. Comms are simple to tune and only require training a single predictive model and share hyperparameters uniformly across all discrete and continuous tasks, respectively. All the while, comms find solutions that perform 16 better than the next best offline model-based optimization method that we tested. The success of comms suggests a few promising directions for future work. Firstly, one could possibly make improvements to comms by incorporating models that explicitly model the data manifold during optimization, which comms does not do. And secondly, 
what problems arise when using comms on tasks where the offline data set is prohibitively small. In these instances, overfitting poses a challenge, and characterizing and mitigating overfitting would make offline MBO more reliable in this setting. And finally, a deeper understanding of how neural network models extrapolate could help explain why and how adversarial examples are found and could result in more powerful optimization schemes that work better in practice. My name is Brandon Trabuco, and it's been a pleasure presenting to you. For more information, check out our open source code on GitHub, and also you can check out our website as well. Thanks for listening.